what's happening. I'm hanging out in Australia and it's been amazing. And it's also amazing because I'm hanging out with Joe Ball at his house here in uh, an undisclosed location somewhere outside of Queensland. And today I'm going to be looking at some really cool monitors that you just won't see in the States. As a pro bike rider, action sports announcer, and off-road adventurer, I'm always on the go. But for my true passion as a reptile breeder, I created my own sanctuary in South Florida. This is Camp Kenneth. All right, man, so how long will it take to get a, a hatchling to the site? Um, I would say back probably three to, three to four years. So let's get in and have a look. Okay, so this is the male down here. Alright. And, and the female is there. Yeah. Okay, so we're about probably two weeks um, away from the start of the mating season. Um, I think we'll leave the female. Sounds good. Yeah, we'd all disturb her right before that. Yeah. Um, but he's impressive anyway. I mean, I'd just love to get my hands on him. And if he's, uh, what do you think? He's pretty amenable. I mean, he's, he, he's soaked up plenty of rays today, so he's probably going to have a little bit of a. He'll, he'll protest okay. somewhat, but I reckon we can catch him. All right, man. Well, I'll let you take the reins on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. When a monitor stands up like that. It's a dubious honor. To <laughs> I'll be brave and man the gate for him. So obviously when you're working with large monitors, you know, even if you know the animal, you're going to be respectful of it because they can inflict a good bite. From both ends, <laughs> yeah. from the mouth and from the tail. As you can see, he's got his tail. The tail is what I'm watching here. This is a very friendly animal, but he's not going to bite me, but he will whip me with his tail. That's probably the way I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to grab his tail and go from there. All right. Now with these guys, they have such a long neck. Are you ever worried about him doubling back and kind of nailing it? He's absolutely capable of it. But this is a it. this is a friendly animal. Okay. You know, and what you've seen there is probably as friendly as you're ever going to see from an animal this sort of size. How would you like me to grab it? Replicate what I'm doing. But right, probably grab the other shoulder. Go oh, top shoulder good. first. Go top over the top. Go over the top. Yeah. Okay. Get lower if you can, and, and restrain a, an arm. Right, I got to get. Oh, that's a strong animal. Beauty. All right. I would come lower. Okay, like yeah, this. Yeah, you've got to you, you've got to let him know you've got him. Okay. If you let him know you've got him, he'll be more happy with you holding him. So here we have an amazing, amazingly strong, beautiful baronet here, man. This is the Parentes. And my God, what an animal it is. Just to have my hands on it, you know. Just come low. Come, so, come low. Yeah, good. try and get him with my hands. Right. Keep getting oh, there. Oh, yeah, there we that's go. It, there we it. go. That's where you want it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now yeah. I'm holding a parenti. That's Look it. at this that's animal. Perfect. That's perfect. This is just a beautiful critter. And this is something we don't get to see often, so you can imagine how excited I am. I, I mean, you just see all sorts of things, documentaries about this animal, and. You know, this guy will just wander around the outback, poking his nose all over the place, looking for, oh, I would imagine, birds and whatever, lizards, whatever, whatever he can, can eat. Find. Yeah. And he, he wouldn't miss much. Now, you come from England, man. You're, you're actually an English guy. Yeah, that's right. And, and you've been here 10 years, and what prompted the move? Living in cold, wet, miserable England. Yeah. I've always had <laughs> a, a, some would say an unhealthy, but I would say a healthy obsession with reptiles. And uh, I always thought that Australia was sort of number one when it comes to uh, reptiles and uh, I just wanted to get down here and check them out so and um, now I live in Australia why not go the whole way and keep some of their um, uh, the most beautiful creatures that they have to offer. Yeah you definitely got a few of the most beautiful creatures and speaking of beautiful creatures the next monitors we're going to see are probably my favorite monitors in the world although this is high up on the list so I'll go ahead and let them down 
Yep, and we'll I'm going to step on. out of your way. All right, we'll just, yeah. Well, you mean yeah, step yeah. out of his way, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's, right. Um, let's, let's just give him, the, give him the spots and let him go. There you go, my friend. And that's it. You know, they're not, they're not vicious, satanic creatures. They're just animals, and they want to be uh, given their space. So let's that's do right. it, and we'll go see some. How about some lace monitors? For me, this is definitely the monitor that I've been salivating over my whole life because that is the Bell's Phase lace monitor. Yep. And uh, this is just an incredible, I mean, this animal is found from Northern Queensland all the way down to, to New South Wales, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, on, on further south. So, really? Yeah. So what I like about this animal, guys, is you know I live in Florida in the USA. I'm always looking for animals that I can keep outdoors because yeah. for me, and this is why I'm really impressed with your facility, is you love to keep animals outside too. So this is the monitor I'd love to work with. It's a large one, but it's not so large that you can't really build an awesome enclosure for it. Um, what's the chances of us getting in there and like getting our hands on uh, this guy? I'd yeah. love to hold one. Um, let's do it. All right, yeah. man. I, you know, me first, you first, how you want to do it? I'll let I'll you go in. And you follow me. Yeah. Stoked. There's gonna be a few of my buddies are a little gonna gonna be a little jealous. Oh my God! Just look at these guys. Come on in. Now earlier you were telling me about these guys. They're a large varanid, but uh, varanid, but um, they're arboreal. Yes, somewhat different. So you, you you've got your paranti, you've got your panoptes, you've got your spencers, which are all considered to be terrestrial varanids. These guys, whilst they still retain that same size. Um, they are very much a tree monitor. What I've done in here is I've given them um, space to climb and um, a multitude of different levels and um, you can see all three of them are using it. Well, these, and it, what's neat is, you know, these guys seem very relaxed because they are at that elevated perch. Yeah. And, and this particular monitor, as he says, is a boreal. It'll run up a tree to get out of danger. And uh, that's the first thing they'll do, huh? Is they'll find the highest point and try that's and right, yeah. split to it. But this this phase is not what you typically see out of the lace monitor. You know, they call them a lace monitor because they look something like a doily. That, you know, that's that, right. Yeah, but, but this is different. But not to be mistaken for a mutation of any description, really. This is a naturally occurring color phase. Okay. Um, they are unbelievably common, actually, in the wild. Not as common as the normal, but. There is plenty of them out there. Yeah, and you got to remember, common in Australia, not in the United States in the in the reptile keeping hobby, because Australia does not export any of their animals. They view them as a, a national treasure. So again, these guys can only work with with their native species, but and all we can do is hope that some got out a long time ago and someone's breeding them. But I, I never see uh, lace monitors in the hobby in the United States. So this is definitely an animal that I'm salivating over. Let's let's get you. A one of these guys to hold. Wild. Look at this. This is this is amazing, mate. All right. Now, this this is a, a young female. Okay. She's probably the smallest one in this enclosure, but I'd say she's the prettiest. Oh. But she, she will nip. She will bite All you, right, so. and you will know about it. Okay. So make sure that you have her. Yeah. All right, mate. Yeah. You get. It. That's good. That's good. All right. Whew. Yeah. I love you guys. Don't bite me. <laughs> that would that would change the whole relationship, I think. Yeah. But yeah, you can really get a look here at how beautiful this animal is, and just that those thick bands. Uh, you know, you feel the animal, you feel the power in any monitor. Yeah. I don't yeah. care if it's an Aki. You yeah. know, they're they're, they're just they're built, they're, they're strong. Yeah. 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 They're, they're hunters, they're, man. They're, the 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 size of their legs or the proportion of their legs to their body when compared to most other four-legged reptiles is. It's quite impressive. Yeah, definitely. And, th and they know how to use them. They can dig. They can scratch. They can, yeah. And as we also they mentioned, as we yeah. also mentioned, you know, those monitors have an incredible intelligence, uh, because, you know, these are animals that had to deal with some really extreme conditions here in Australia, and uh, they have been around, as you mentioned earlier, millions of years in this form, doing what they do. So all right, man. Joe. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I think uh, we're gonna go grab a bite. Is that what's happening? That's right, we're gonna get the barbie on. Check it out, we're even we're gonna, gonna have it. a little barbie. That's right. I'm having a great time in Oz, man. Thank you so much for sharing your animals with me and I hope you enjoyed this special episode of Camp Cannon from the land down under. All I gotta do now is get some Vegemite. Later. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the Camp Cannon channel every Tuesday for new videos. Become a subscriber today. See you next time.